This video will demonstrate how to place material orders through Beacon straight from a job in the edge. The Beacon button can be found near the top of the material pricing screen, and it allows you to place an order directly through the Beacon Pro Plus e-commerce site. If you're a current customer of Beacon, you can turn on the Beacon button by sending us an email to support at estimatingedge.com and be sure to include your Beacon account number in the email. After your company's Beacon button has been turned on by the Edge, your company will be ready to start ordering through Beacon. Here's the process for placing those orders. First thing you're going to do is mark the material items that you want to include in the order and then click the Beacon button. It'll take you to the Beacon section of the Edge Administration portal. Here you will find some boxes. If there is a job number that you need to include with this order, you put it there. You need to designate whether you're going to pick it up at the local Beacon warehouse or if you're going to have it shipped to an address. If you choose to have it shipped to an address, you'll need to fill the full address in right here. Let's put it back at pickup. You can include a note if you're going to refer to a quote, for instance. Uh, I might type this in here to refer to a quote. If there is a purchase order number for Beacon, you'll put it in here. If you are placing the order and you don't have the privileges to place the order, but someone else in your company does, you can choose to have it approved by the person who does have the rights to place the order. Down here, if you've chosen to pick it up at the local warehouse, you will need to put a date sometime in the future and a time for when you're coming to pick it up. Now, here are the edge items that I chose to place in the order. What I need to do for those items is associate a beacon SKU number for those items. I need to map the SKU number. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is click the search button next to the SKU box here. I'm looking for the SKU for the Firestone 10 by 100 Ultraply TPO 60. So I'm going to click this search button and I'm going to choose the manufacturer here, Firestone 10 by 100 Ultraply TPO 60, and I'm going to click Search. Now, here is the 10 by 100 Ultraply TPO 60. I'm going to choose, choose this right here, and it will put in the SKU number. You see down here, I already have a SKU number for these three items at the bottom because I've already placed an order for those items it remembers the SKU number once you've placed an order for that item. Let me choose the 5x100 roll of Ultraply TPO60. I'm going to click this search box and I'm going to choose the manufacturer and click Firestone 5x100 Ultraply TPO60 and I'm going to click search and it brings up the 5 by 100 Ultraply TPO 60. I'm going to choose that. But let's say I want to uh, delete this item from this order, this uh, ISO right here. All I need to do is mark it and click the trash can over here. And if I'm sure, I'll say yes and I have deleted that ISO from the order. If I want to delete anything else, I can just mark the ones I want to delete and click the delete button. 
But let's say this order is good and I am ready to place the order. I'm going to click the next button up here and I have the option of downloading this order as an Excel file. It'll download locally without sending to Beacon just yet and it will open up on my screen once I click on it. And I can change things here potentially uh, if I need to, or I can close it and I can actually place the order by clicking here. If I had chosen a, an approver and I click next, that order will go to the approver and the approver can look over the order and decide if they need to make any changes to the order and they can place the order. They will receive an email if you click here. I didn't choose an approver, so I'm going to click here and I will be able to place the order. Now, once I am satisfied that this is the correct order, all I will need to do is click place order. I can choose to change any of these if I need to, but I can click place order when I'm ready. It asks me if I'm sure I want to place the order. And if I am, all I will need to do is click submit and I will have placed the order to Beacon. That's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.